afternoon. I am Cheese Monster. This is an extra freebie. A bit of a treat for you. Um, I found this last little bit of um, Petit Camembert, which is basically a mini version of Camembert de Normandy. I'm just going to finish this off um, while you watch. So, this. <coughs> I've got this from uh, the Fine Cheese Company here in the UK. I know exactly how I want to eat this. But I'm going to mix things up a bit as well. Cheese off. Mm. Oh my god. Jumped ahead. Let's try a bit of time first. Um, so, Camembert, mini Petit Camembert is a raw cow's milk cheese from the Green Dorge dairy in Livaroe in France. I think I pronounced that correctly. This creamery started making Camembert in the early 1900s <coughs> it is considered to be less rich and intense uh, than Camembert de Normandy and it has a golden buttery flavour with a delicate aroma of hazelnuts does it? I'm not sure it does. I wouldn't describe that as tasting anything like hazelnuts. However, it is golden if we look at the wedge. It is quite golden and buttery. If you took the rind off, you'd think that was just a wedge of butter. Hmm. Some cheeses get better as they age. Not with camembert. You need to eat it at just that right moment. Just as it's just as it's reached its its, its maturation. And not a day longer really. If you leave it too long, it starts going hard. You lose some of the flavour. The flavour comes too strong, too um, <coughs> very ammonia sometimes, uh, just too pungent and, and uh, sharp, and it, it just it just destroys it all. This is slightly past its its prime, but it's that's still gorgeous. I'm just gonna have this last piece on its own again. I don't really fancy putting it in anything. No, do you know what? Let's be really re rebellious and have a look at all this. See how that goes. Mm, don't mm. Not bad. The olive doesn't ruin it, but it doesn't really enhance. 
Donald Cerrone. Okay. See you next week. That has been Betty Cameron Bear. <laughs>